For the first time this century, and the fourth time in history, the U.S. Congress is exploring impeachment of a president. Welcome back to FrontPageLive.com. I'm Carl Cameron. Trump is accused of withholding congressionally approved military support for Ukraine to coerce the country into helping Trump win re-election with a bogus debunked conspiracy theory trashing his political rival Joe Biden in advance of next year's presidential election. The testimony and documentation from George Kent, the State Department's senior official in charge of Ukraine, and Bill Taylor, the senior American diplomat in Ukraine, amounts to a devastating indictment of Trump and his administration for abuse of power. I wrote that withholding security assistance in exchange for help with a domestic political campaign in the United States would be crazy. I believed that then and I believe it now. This condition was driven by the irregular policy channel I had come to understand was guided by Mr. Giuliani. The directive had come from the president to the chief of staff to OMB. In an instant, I realized that one of the key pillars of our strong support for Ukraine was threatened. The irregular policy channel was running contrary to the goals of long-standing U.S. policy. All told to date, 11 witnesses have been called to testify this week and next. Republican and Democratic committee members have already begun to clash. Operatives and activists in both parties are grinding out talking points and messaging advice. Do not forget, impeachment is a political process. But facts matter. Alternative facts amount to willful ignorance. Trump's allies will try everything to change the subject and obscure the facts, but if facts do not matter, what happens to future generations? And what happens to we the people? Thanks for visiting Front Page Live. Please subscribe to our newsletter and share us on social media and get involved. It is time to protect and defend our Constitution and our elections.